Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening around the world. So this is Raquel SG Vlog. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. Please share na rin po ang aking video. So, uh, ang dami pong nag-message uh, sa akin. There's a lot of people who message or um, message me in private kung paano ako uh, nakapunta dito sa UK. Um, I will teach you the step by step on how to get in here so first is you must have the caregiver certificate or a nursing aid certificate um ojt training kahit sa ang uh, nursing home dyan sa uh, singapore um uh, more certificates much better and um pasok na pasok na yan guys dito so have you must have um you must take IELTS exam which is UKVI IELTS exam kasi twice po ako nagtake ng IELTS which is um only IELTS exam and UKVI there's um three general training and uh, academic training IELTS so nagtake na ako ng general training IELTS which is pangkalahatan na po lahat yun pero meron po palang special na IELTS to go here in UK which is UKVI um, that's for the skilled um, visa um, so twice ako nag take ng IELTS which is thanks God at nakapasa pero it takes a long time to mag review na rin po kayo so not so easy for me but if you are good in English much better so, um, IELTS exam contains four uh, subject, which is listening, speaking, um, ano pa yun? reading, um, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So, and if you have all these, um, message me, and I will give you the agency the legit agency which is my friend here in UK siya po yung unang nakapunta dito na classmate ko sa phlebotomy course sa Singapore so um, she recommended me to her agency so kailan po magbayad and you have to provide some money so hindi po biro ang um, aking napuntaanan kasi um, mahirap mahirap which is if you don't have enough um, funds and need nyo pong mag-ipon. So, all of these certificates, nursing aid or um, caregiver, IELTS, so message me, I'm gonna um, help you if you have the vacant here in my workplace. So, um, let's talk about the interviews first. Um, I'm not gonna answer um, everything, but... Um, you have to do on your own kung on how you answer all the questions so which is first uh, question um, interview question is that um, tell me about yourself which is um, kung paano mo ibenta on how you uh, sell yourself to the manager um, so um, that's uh, the way on how you in impress na ang manager kung ano yung um, mga na ano mo mga na achieve mo sa during your school days so that's all <laughs> and next is safeguarding safeguarding here in UK is very important which is safeguarding is to protect citizens health well-being and human rights and also enabling them to feel free from abuse, neglect, and harm. So that is a safeguarding. And they also ask your weakness and your um, are you in? weakness and the other one, strength, strength and weakness. So, ayan, tatlo, apat, there's already three questions. Um, they also give us scenarios on how you gonna uh, help the residents if you see some uh, some uh, if you see residents fall down on the bed or somewhere around what you gonna do so first thing is you press the emergency button and you wait for the staff the nurses to come 
and you have to stay with the patients and when the staff come you have to help them so that's the first thing you have to do and also um, yeah some kinds of scenarios so you have um, my you have some ideas kung paano ititik ang interviews my interviews dito sa UK so what else um, the one thing that I didn't um, prepare is that what is limitation so I've got to think about that twice which is ang answer ko e eh, limitation is like limit yourself on using phone while you're at work so which is one it's not um okay lang daw yun na answer but meron pinaka main answer um there's a main answer for the what is limitation limitation is you have to put the um uh, you have to put the boundaries between you and your residence you are not going to um um, involve the residents on your personal uh, problems like um, money, financial, financial, and your uh, family problems like that because you are the one supposed to protect them from the mental health. So, must make sure that you have to put the boundaries. So, limitation. Remember that, guys, that is the one unexpected question in um, interviews in healthcare um, assistance. So, what else? Um, yung ilan lang naman yung mga questions na inano sa akin, so but there's a lot of questions that you have to prepare kasi we don't know what all the questions that they gonna ask um, to us. So, one more thing is you have to ang tawag dito, search yung company na inapplyan mo kailangan, mo kailangan mong tignan yung mga vision and mission nila and then how many residents you are how many residents ang ano nila ang tinitake care nila so what else how do you maintain dignity dignity is about their privacy privacy of the patients so ayan you have to search a lot a lot a lot of um, thing then why should we hire you ayan why should we hire you okay i'm not gonna answer this in uh, details because you have to um do on your own uh, you have your own idea so you have to search it guys yeah put an effort if you are willing to come here if you are willing to um, um, if you what they call it you have passion you, you are motivated to come here in UK so you must have um, put an effort to prepare for an interviews so yun lang muna guys wag na natin kabaan um and mag, uh, research research lang about the interviews para makapasa kayo and good luck for those who wants to come here in the UK so don't mind about my backgrounds because this is my temporary room and I uh, almost uh, I'm here na in UK for one week one week na pala ako dito so I'm very fresh here in UK so Ayan. Good, luck. Good luck, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.